Okay, this video is about how to do, how to reduce your time and how to gain your time. So at the bottom, you have your minute, your minutes there, your time, and then I'm gonna grab. Let me kill this guy real quick, and then I'll show you. All right, so the green will give you your time. Then you have your red that will reduce your time. So I reduce my time. Now we have like five minutes counting down. And then go over there and you grab it and you gain your time back. Or let me show you one more time here. If I grab the green time first then it's going to do it's just going to gain your time back but let me just show you real quick all right so then if I just if I don't get that reduction clock first, kill this. Well, ah. Well, just let me show you right here, real quick. Um. So, yeah, two things here. You got your object time, which is your main time, which is your fifteen minutes. <clears throat> then you have your reduce time. Your reduce time is only five minutes, which you can make this anything you want. You know, you could change it to ten if you wanted to. So it's I just copied it. I just copied the same information as I did on object timer. I just changed it to five minutes instead of fifteen. And everything's the same. Like a, uh, if I didn't want my text to bounce, I would grade out the bottom here because it does that with your views. Because I have that set up with shake screen, so the DX will um, make it drawn on screen. It won't shake. So I'll change that back. <clears throat> well, that's on DX. Reduced. That's on DX, okay. Alright, so... Reduce time, why do I have... Oh, object... Oh. I opened the wrong one up here. Let me see. I had... Yeah, reduce time. That's the right one. I don't need this lose time, though. Delete this. Reduce time is what I need. Okay. Save that real quick. I may do another video on time um, dealing with blinking because I did do some kind of uh, example where your once your time gets to a certain amount, then it would start blinking. So if I can get that to work correctly, I think I I got it to work. But the problem is um, is the draw text feature I'm gonna to have to do all global events because for some reason when you use the when you use the go into the draw location here uh, where's the draw and you use this set color then you can't use more than one if you use more than one of these set colors for each of your texts it just uses the one color for some reason with Game Maker. So you have to do it through code. And so you use a global event for co um, for your code event. And it sh you should be able to use multiple colors. But I'll talk more about that when, if I can get it to work for the blinking for the timer. Alright, so to reduce and gain your, your time. So basically you're just going to um, your object time box reduction and I have a new sprint for it 
under the textures and it looks like this is an image of your time this one's reduction it has the red crescent moon and X it's uh, and then you just use uh, and then then I make another sprint and I have a crescent moon green for your clock X and Y coordinate zero and then I have my object time box which is going to be laid out in the room I have right here my object time box reduction and my object time gain so it's going to be set up like this create event variable image speed 0 0.1 because it's not going to be moving then when I my player uh, collides with it it's going to reduce the time it's going to play that sound and then this should be changed to reduce time I'm going to have to play this again make sure it works so you're going, to, you're going to replace the object time, which is the 15 minutes, with reduced time, which is only 5 minutes. And then you're going to destroy this box. And then same thing with in player. Change object time to reduce time. Then you draw. Event's going to happen here. And this is to talk about... If you rotate around the object, the object's going to follow you, so it looks 3D, but it's really a flat object. Um, and it's called text underscore te timer reduce. And that's the image of the crescent moon, the red crescent moon uh, time box. And I changed, this was at 7, I changed it to 5, so it squished it down a little more to make it smaller, smaller looking. Because I used the actual health box. And it opened up Photoshop and has changed changed the image the way the image looks for the health box to make it look like the, the clock anyway. So I just reduced the the size of it to five instead of seven because seven was the health box and I reduced it to five for the the time box. <clears throat> All right, and then depth minus twenty. Then the timer box gain same information but okay so if I just collect if I have 15 minutes and I just go ahead and collect the gain box instead of the reduction box and it's going to switch the object time 15 minutes to object time again to 15 minutes because it's going to count down before you even start the game so once you go over there rush over there and collect it it's going to um, give you the 15 minutes back or if you do decide to hit the reduction box first so if you have already collected the reduction health I mean reduction timer image then uh, once you collect the gain time box it's going to switch your reduction timer object to your object timer which is going to give you another I give you the 15 minutes change this back to reduction same thing with the end player so switch your object time to object time again if you didn't hit you know collect the reduction time if you did uh, collect the reduction time then it's going to switch that object time which is 5 to 15 minutes <clears throat> and that's pretty much it and same from, and then with the time box gain you're going to say text unders underscore timer gain and then make sure reduce your image to 5 to make it smaller and it's the same image except the color is different on the crescent moon the gain and that's the gain one and you can see the text timer gain. 
So that's how you do, how, that's how you gain and reduce your time. And then, like I said, I'll try to do another video on the blinking for the timer. So once your time goes down to a certain amount, then it's going to switch to a different time, which is going to be that specific uh, minute, and it's going to do the blinking as well. So I'm going to talk about that if I can get that to work. All right, and that's... And hold on, let me make sure that this, uh, I switched a couple things in here, because you saw undefined. It's, whoops, well, I gotta save this. It should work. But... I just want to make sure it works before I let you guys go here. It should. Because I did change a couple of things here. And it's not going to let me do it. I got to show my. Hold on, let me... Alright. I just want to make sure this works before I let you guys go. I just have to collect that reduction clock. It should work. Yeah, it works. Alright, well thanks for watching.